Okay, so here we're going to teach you guys how to program a wind sensor properly and how to properly deprogram a wind sensor. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and program it to it. Um, basically, you're going to take your remote that operates the shade. Um, you're going to hold the programming button on the back until it jogs. Okay, and then we got a programming button that's actually on the sensor. It's this big red button in the left, it says program. You're going to hit that until it jogs, just like so. Okay, now the shade is actually programmed to this. Um, it always comes to factory setting. It's usually pretty good, but if you ever need to adjust it, uh, there's adjustments underneath here for wind and sun. This is the sun and wind sensor that we're showing you. Um, just make those adjustments accordingly to, I guess, the situation that you're working with or you know, however sensitive the customer wants it. Um, and then you can always double check it. Um, as you can see, it works. Okay, very important thing. If you ever, if the customer ever decides that they do not want the sensor anymore, you cannot simply just unplug it and walk away with it. You have to deprogram this sensor from the shade. If you don't, the, the shade will randomly go up at times. Uh, it'll just, it'll, they'll have it down, they'll be calling you, and you'll be back out there a couple more times. Uh, basically, to deprogram this now so that it doesn't work and you're going to get just remove it completely. You're going to hold the programming button on the shade again till it jogs on the remote, just like that. And then we'll hit the programming button on the wind sensor again until it jogs. And then you always can double check it, and obviously, you'll see it's not going anywhere. Make sure you always deprogram it if you walk away with it. And that's it.